Algebra Unit 8, Lesson 3, Notes 3, Factor Trinomials, when A equals 1. You have learned how to multiply two binomials using the FOIL method. Each of the binomials was a factor of the product. The pattern for multiplying two binomials can be used to factor certain types of trinomials. The trinomial must be in standard form in order to factor it. Remember, that means that our variables, the the degree of the terms must be in descending order. Factor each trinomial. So to factor trinomials in the form um, x squared plus bx plus c, find two integers, we'll say m and p, with a sum of b and a product of c. So there's a lot of symbols here. I'm just going to show you the process, and hopefully we'll, we'll get it from that. So I use a process called MAM, M-A-M, -M, where the M's stand for multiply and the, oops, the M stand for multiply and the A stands for addition. So what I like to do, first of all, you need to make sure that your trinomial is in standard form. So if you look at letter A, it is in fact in standard form. And I'm going to write the acronym here, M-A-M, -M, one letter above each term. The coefficient of M is 1. That's our A term, okay? Remember trinomials, oops, AX squared plus BX plus C. So our A term, our coefficient, our leading coefficient is 1. So what we do is we take the M's, which are 1 and 20, and we multiply them together. So 1 times 20 is 20. And then we also record our A, which is positive 9. I'm going to make a little t-chart here. So I want numbers that multiply together to give me 20. So let's list some factors. Well, 1 times 20. And 20 times 1 is the same thing, so I don't have to write it again. We've got 4 and, or let's do 2 and 10. We'll go in order. And then 4 and 5. Those are my factors of 20. Now, A, remember, stands for add. So I'm looking for a pair of factors that add to be 9. So if I add 1 plus 20, I get 21. Not what I need. If I add 2 and 10, I get 12. And if I add 4 and 5, I get 9. This is what I need. So I found two numbers that multiply be to be 20 and add to be 9. Once you figure that out, we're actually going to set up two sets of parentheses. X is our variable. So we write that in the first as the first term. And over here, our factors are positive 4 and positive 5. So we simply write plus 4 and plus 5. Now, those can be either way. You could have also written it as plus 5 plus 4. It doesn't matter. And that's it. Let's take a look at letter C. So here in letter C, they are not in descending order. So I need to make sure I put them in descending order. So the y squared would be first, then the 10y, then the 9. Now that I'm in descending order, I can write my acronym of MAM. Again, remember the coefficient of y squared is 1. So I multiply my m's together. 1 times 9 is 9. And the a is 10. So I need factors of 9. I have 1 and 9, and 3 and 3. Those are the only factors of 9. Then I need to add them together. 1 plus 9 is 10. 3 plus 3 is 6. My A is 10, so I want that first set there. And you don't have to list all the factors every time. Um, just list them and add them as you go, and when you get your answer, you get the pair that works, you can stop. So then this time, I have my two parentheses. Y is the variable. And I have plus 1 and plus 
9. Again, coming from over here, positive 1, positive 9. Let's throw a negative in the mix. Let's look at letter E. Oops. Okay. Again, we're still checking to make sure it's in descending order, in which it is. So M, A, M. Again, the leading coefficient is 1. Multiply your A and your C, 1 times 28, and you get 28. And your A this time is negative. You have to include the sign before it, so negative 11. So I want some factors of 28. Okay, well I've got 1 and 28. 1 plus 28 is 29, not what I need. I have 2 and 14. 2 and 14 is 16. I'm getting positive numbers here, and you should hopefully see that there's a problem with that. We need negative numbers. Remember, negative times a negative is positive. So we could say negative 2 times negative 14 is also positive 28. So negative 2 and negative 14 are also factors 28. And when you add those together, that gives you a negative. Okay, still not what we need, so let's keep going. Um, I know I want to do two negatives here, so let's try negative 4 and negative 7. Again, they multiply to be 28, positive. And when you add them, you get negative 11, which means these are the factors we need. Set up your two parentheses. Your variable is w. And this time I have negative 4 and negative 7, so I will have w minus 4 and w minus 7. Okay, let's, took, let's take a look at letter H. All right, again, I'm going to label it, or I'm gonna check for descending order, standard form, which it is, and then label it MAM, one being the leading coefficient. Multiply together your M's, you get 16, and your A is eight. 16, 4 times 4 equals 16, and when you add them, you get 8, so I know that's my winning pair. Variable is A, and it's positive 4, positive 4. Now, the reason I wanted to show you this one is I wanted you to notice that the terms are the same. So, technically, that is correct, 100%, or... You could write this as a plus 4 to the second power. Either or would be correct and receive full credit. Okay, let's look at letter I. Check for descending order, in which it is in descending order or standard form. We're going to label it MAM. Leading coefficient is 1. Multiply together your M's. 1 times negative 30 is negative 30, and a is negative 7. So we have two negatives here. Now, to get a negative product, one of the numbers has to be negative. So, for example, I could do 1 times negative 30, or I could do negative 1 times positive 30. 1 plus negative 30 is negative 29, and negative 1 plus 30 is positive 29. Neither of which I need, of course. But let's keep going here. Let's try, I don't know, 10 and 3. So negative 10 and positive 3. Add them together. Negative 10 plus 3 is negative 7. I can stop. I found it. Set up your two parentheses. Your variable is y. This time I have a minus 10 and a plus 3. Okay, let's jump all the way down to letter O. In letter O, we have two variables. I don't want you to get confused and don't overthink it. We have our x squared term first, so I'm just going to make sure that my x terms, or the x variable I should say, is in descending order. So I have x to the second, x to the first, and no x's. Okay, you could have done this with 
y first as well. However, the x has a leading coefficient of 1, and that's all we know how to do so far is when um, factoring trinomials when our a value or leading coefficient is 1. So we're going to keep this one the way it is. You're still going to label it ma'am. And what I want you to do, since I'm concerned with the x term, the x variable, I should say, not term, I want you to kind of ignore the y's for now, okay? So what I want you to focus on is x squared minus 14x minus 51. So the m's, 1 times negative 51 is negative 51, and the a is negative 14. So what are some uh, factors of negative 51? Again, it's negative, so I want one positive, one negative. So we'll do positive 1 and negative 51. When I add them together, it's negative 50, not even close. Even if I switch them, I'd end up with positive 50, so again, not what I need. I know 17 goes into it, so 17 and negative 3. When I add those together, I get positive 14, so I'm close, so let's switch for the negative sign. Negative 17 and positive 3 gives me that negative 14. Set up your two parentheses. I'm still putting x first. Now, I still want to leave some space at the end here. You'll, you'll see when I write it. I'm still going to write minus 17, leave some space, and plus 3. All I'm going to do now is just reinsert that variable y. And if I were to distribute this or FOIL this, it would wind up back to the original problem. There's another one like that, p, so give it a try. Focus just on the a term, ignore the b, and then just put it back in at the end. So what I want you to do is finish up this, uh, the rest of the problems, including the word problem.